Good evening. I'm recording this in the evening anyway. Good evening, choir student. I'm going to quickly show you how to review your natural keyboard note names, just the white keys on the keyboard. To get you started, go to the orchardviewchoir.com web page. At the top of the page, click Music Practice. By the way, uh, if you hear any thunder in the background, we have a nice spring storm rolling through when I recorded this. All right. At the music practice page at our website, I want you to scroll down a little bit and you're going to skip over this first one here. By the way, it says at the top here, no quizzes currently scheduled. That was when I recorded this. There might actually be a quiz scheduled right now based on what I've been telling you in class and by what this tells you when you visit the page to do this yourself. All right, so don't pay necessarily pay attention to this. All right, skip over this first one. We are past note name practice, although if you need a refresher, you can click on that. But for now, you're going to click on the keyboard piano practice link that will bring you over to our favorite musictheory.net page for this one. All right, an important thing here is you want to turn off the black keys. We're not doing sharps and flats. We're not doing the black keys yet. So we're going to turn off the black keys. And so we're going to focus just on these white keys, the natural notes. Okay, uh, what did we learn in class? Remember, the C note, which is our starting note, the C note happens before the two black keys. So here's a group of two, there's a C note. This is a group of three black keys, another group of two, so this would be a C note here. By the way, that keyboard that I show you in class, if you click on that down here at the bottom, display keyboard, and you bring that up, you can practice like you do in class. I'm not sure if you guys can actually hear those or not. But here we go. Group of two black keys. C note. Here's a group of three. Group of two black, key, black keys. The C is right before that. Here's a group of three. And we have two, three, two, three. If it continued over here, we'd have another group of three. So we can infer then that this is also a C note here. All right, let's get back over here. Group of two, C. Group of two, C. So based on that, you're going to quiz yourself and it'll keep track of your score and how well you're doing here for which note name this is right here that's highlighted. So we know that this is the group of two right here. We should know that this key right here is C. So the very next note over should then be A, B, C, D. So you click on D and it was correct. And notice that since we have black keys off, as soon as I click down here, all of the sharps and flat signs, sharps and flat signs disappear, so we can't use those. All right, this one, you have a choice. You can either start at this C note right here and go backwards through your music alphabet, or you could start right here and go forward. We'll start right here just to practice. So we have C, D, E, F, G, A. And we click A, and lo and behold, I am correct. This one here, I'll start backwards, so we have start at this group with two black keys right here. So we know this is C, B, A, G. That's right, G, C, B, A, G. And you can keep clicking through these as fast as you can go. I challenge you to get as many correct. Oh, I got one wrong. I thought that was the, like on our keyboard. Our keyboard had the group of two at the end over here, but be careful. This one here has a group of three at the end. So uh, see, even I get one wrong once in a while. So go ahead and click through these and practice at home. Or if you have some uh, free time in your computer class or get on a computer at the library, wherever you are right now, and practice these to go through them, see what you can do for your quiz if you have a quiz coming up or if you just want to have some fun practicing your note names. There we go, 20 correct and that one incorrect one. All right, let me know how. if you have any questions, you can contact me back at the Orchard View Choir webpage, which is a couple back here. Contact me here. Fill out your name, your email address, comment, or you can talk to me in class next time you see me. See you later.